Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, Francis Atwell confirmed to Kenyan that the Buhungu 2 meeting is going to happen on 31st of this month, and the plans is underway. After that, the Kakamega Senator Kilofas Malala went ahead to respond to Francis Atwell while, while attending the Maragoli cultural event at Mbale Grounds. And this is what Malala said in response to Francis Atwell. Now, for those who have been following Senator Malala's politics closely, they will understand that Malala has been always controversial from the time when he was an MCA and even up to now as he is serving as the senator of Kakamega County. So there is nothing new about Malala. And this time round, he was looking for the response from Francis Atul. And yes, after his threat and a declaration to cancel Atul's meeting, Atul came out to respond to, to Malala and he gave a stunning warning to Santa Cleofas Malala, daring him to try and uh, disrupt Buhungu meeting. And if you listen to Francis Atul's response to Malala, there is one thing you can conclude and say that that Buhungu meeting is a state-sponsored meeting. He has assured the people who will attend that the security is going to be very high and therefore there is nothing that can make them to fear attend that meeting. And the confidence that Atwell has confirms to you that that meeting has the blessing of President Uru Kenyatta and the ODM leader Raila Amolo Odinga. So nothing can stop that meeting and you see even the kind of security that he's assuring people to have is a clear indication. And surprisingly, Atwell even has gone further to claim that that is the one who made Cleophas Malala the senator of Kakamega County. So that tells you that Atwell might be just confirming that he sponsored Malala campaigns in 2017. <laughs> so after I, as an elder in this area, and the same man was brought up in Nairobi. I've gone out of my way to make sure that the security that will be in Kakamega on 31st is security that no man or woman has ever seen on 31st. Naiki jana yetu, ambaye mimi mwenyewa, I made him a senator. Mumuambie, awaje kuwa erratic. Mimi ndiyo nilibuwa hiyo kiti. Tuza na subama na sema oo atuoli apati watu kazi ya fanyini. Na nilimpa kazi ya senator. Hakuna mtu mungina nilimpa hiyo kazi. Ni mimi nilimpa. Na mtu wakikupa kito na wesa kunyanganya. Sina mna hivyo. So haende muambie ni kijana mdoga haende pole po. Kwa jili ni kimulani hata kuwa mtu. But what I want to assure him. Hata kama mechukua because we know who has funded him to bring these problems. Kama alitairishwa once, kama alipitia kwa kisu maramoja, tutamupitisha kwa kisu ya pili. Akileta mchesu, leta hapa. He will be, if he was and I doubt, if he was circumcised, muta muambie kabuza atuwezi yo mutu wakuchesea. I was here, when the card was being launched here by the late Masinde Murilo, who was in the company of Oloi Tip Tip. Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop a comment, I must say thank you so much. For your unconditional support, again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend a video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, after the warnings from France Atwoli to Malala, and to confirm that Atwoli is working with the deep state, we have seen news circulating on social media claiming that Senator Cleophas Malala has been summoned by the NCIC. And this is what the Star newspaper shared out 
NCC Simon Malala over remarks to block Bukungu meeting. And according to the star, this is what they are saying. National Cohesion and Integration Commission Chairperson Samuel Kobia has summoned Kakamega Santa Kilofas Malala following his remarks claiming to block the planned meeting at Bukungu Stadium. He goes on to say, we have today summoned, that is according to Kobia, Senator Kilofas Malala to answer for his re regrettable and uh, unwarranted statement that allegedly meant to block to lock out political candidate from holding a meeting at Bukungo Stadium in Kakamega selected for date 31st 2021 Kobia said in a statement on Monday he added that he added that the summon means that the senator is prime candidate for the for inclusion in the wall of shame as well as facing the full force of law <laughs> so they goes on to say that uh kobia added that the commission's commitment to election billa normal road map roadmap means that it will continue to be more vigilant in monitoring the national nation to ensure that the the politic the politics do not lead the country into a dangerous zone. On Sunday, Malala, sorry, so we will end there because we already played what Malala had said on that issue. So with this someone, that is a clear indication a twelve could be telling Malala that look here, you can't joke with my plan. You either keep off or join me. So that is a communication at all is making here. And now Malala has to honor the sermon and uh, take responsibility for his reckless statement. But again to Malala, this could be the direction that he has been looking for. <laughs> to a situation whereby you will see him maybe being uh, arrested by police and maybe being taken through the courts and all that drama. This could be something that Malala has been looking for so that out of it he gained sympathy. Because Malala now is here to face with the ODM candidate and other people who might be on the ballot seeking for the mega gubernatorial seat. So as he has, as he has continuously maybe from the Muslim Dabadi or look as a person who is defending Muslim Dabadi, he would want now to earn sympathy from supporters of Muslim Dabadi and other people who might be willing to realign with him. So this is something maybe Malala was looking for and maybe Atwali could also be just falling into his trap. Because I did not see a big reason for Atwali to respond to Malala. Because responding to Malala, it means now you are falling into the direction that he was looking for. So Malala seemingly has become Atwali's equal by the fact that Atwali can stand and respond to him. So that is the direction that Manala was looking for and Atwali is going into <laughs> that make water. So we have people like Ayub Savola who are now with the Mudavadi again jumping to Atwali's side. But once, if Manala will be arrested for this issue, you will find Manala will become more popular in Kakamega than this other ANC aspirant and even ODM aspirant on the same seat that they will be seeking in 2022. So at 12 might be just following into Malala's. So we are going to see how the Bohungu 2 meeting will turn out and we will be here to talk about the outcome. Otherwise, that's my view. I don't know what you think about this, but let us meet in the comment section where you can also drop your comment. You don't need necessarily to agree with me. You can disagree, but constructively. And again, there are other points I have not mentioned here. So let us do that in the comment section so that we make this discussion of more help to other people so that they can understand it in a better way. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.